Hey, how's it going, Eric? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where you're at online, how much business you get, how much your business your competitors get, and exactly what it's going to take to dominate your competitors and corner the market in San Diego for roofing. All right. Um, so obviously, what I'm looking to do is drive more targeted leads and increase your web traffic to your website. All right, using Google. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business site, uh, my company Zamp Local. All right, so you may view uh, the site when you can, if you'd like. Um, but I just want to jump right into the video. So as we can see, we're on your website, Roofing Specialist of San Diego. All right, all right. So I may go over some relevant. Uh, I'm going to go over some relevant information you may already know. Um, just bear with me. So over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, they're going to use Google, okay? And 96% of them are going to click on the very first page. So to find your business, um, someone would have to type in naturally, Roofing San Diego, okay? You could also type in, uh, here's the keyword planner from Google, uh, Roofing gets searched 210 times a month, um, roofing contractor about 70 times per month roofer 50 times per month so there's many different keywords to, uh, to rank your business for um, there's actually hundreds of keywords um, the most popular common one would be roofing simply um, so as you can see on an average you know there are about 12 to 14 thousand times per month here in San Diego someone is looking for a roofer um, so there's a huge potential to expand and grow your business across San Diego um, so, Roofing San Diego, I found you on the first page, ranked, let's see, right here. So, Roofing Specialist of San Diego, so you're ranked uh, number five, okay? So, you're in the middle of the first page, which is not too bad. Um, as we talked, you know, you said you had a bunch of jobs that were pending and, um, works really good right now uh, in the Google Maps and you're ranked actually let's see number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're ten right here in the maps alright so you're not popping up in the top three right here so thirty so you have your ads here about twenty five percent of clicks come from here then you have your maps about thirty five percent come from here and then the organic listing about uh, the remaining uh, 35 to 40 percent come from here so um, you're in a good spot but your number one competitor which is San Diego roofing is taking up a lot of the market uh, so I want to show you exactly how much business you get versus him so right now you're getting approximately 98 clicks to your website per month um, so that number is also right here okay you're a top competitor, San Diego Roofing, about 333 per month. Okay, so big difference. So he's getting over triple the amount of leads um, than you're receiving. Okay, so he's the number one, you're number five. So let me show you why, why that is. So this is what it looks like when you're number one. You get about 35% of the market of the clicks. Okay, when you're number five, you get about six or seven. So he's around 30 or so, you're around six or seven. So he's definitely over three times um, getting triple, over triple the amount of leads that you're getting right now. And if we moved you up in the maps, you, it would be even more. So he's in the, in the top of the maps as well. So this is him right here, San Diego uh, roofing right there. So just huge potential. I wanted to show you that so you get an understanding of exactly where your position is on Google right now. Okay. Um, and so how do we get you there? All right. So there's a few things. Google has an algorithm. Um, it has 200 determining factors, but I'm not going to talk about all of them. Um, I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Everything else kind of falls into play after this. All right. Uh, the first one is authoritative content. So when we go to your web page, all right. What Google wants to see is a lot of information that's going to educate a consumer about roofing, company, roofing companies in San Diego. So you're going to want to mention, you know, roofing repairs, commercial repairs, as you do here. Um, roofing companies, even mention other companies, maybe too. 
uh, in San Diego m multiple, multiple times, you do have some content built out on the page, but I actually recommend we have at least a thousand words. Um, so that may be something you want to consider revisiting on the, on the home page. All right. Uh, I want to give you an example of what authoritative content look like. So I typed in elephant, Wikipedia is number one. Let's just check that out real quick. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one is because of authoritative content. There's like 50,000 words on this page. Okay, this is excessive. For your website, you're going to want just about a thousand. All right. So I don't want to beat that in too hard, but that's exactly what I mean by authoritative content. Next, being mobile friendly. Okay, so 60 to 80% of people when they need a product or service they're going to actually going to use their iPhone or Android so your uh, website is mobile friendly so I want to throw that in there because it is, it is something that Google takes very serious okay so I did do a scan with your website you're mobile friendly um, next thing I want to talk to you about are citations okay so these are very important this is how we got our business and our name out there um, some examples are obviously Google, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages, white pages, Yelp. Um, when you do them, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google's going to slap you down. So you have to you have a 54% error rate when it comes to these, okay? These are local citations. This will get you ranked in maps. So it looks like your phone number is miss, is not correct here. You're missing listings, missing listings. You're missing a lot of listings. So this is the top 50 in the country. Um, we want to get you listed in hundreds of these over time. So definitely get you listed in all these and fix the discrepancy here. Fix this 54% error rate. Um, and it's going to dramatically improve uh, your representation online. You know, whenever someone is searching for you in these listings, they see the, they actually dial the correct phone number. And, you know, this is actually really vital for your business. You don't want someone dialing or looking up the wrong information for your business. Um, because it's not listed correctly in one of your uh, citations. Okay, so that's that. Let me talk to you about the last one. Um, I want to talk to you about influence pages. Okay, we also call these backlinks. Um, so, say you have a client thoroughly impressed with the roof. Maybe they have a, a website or write blogs. What's going to happen is they're going to actually write a blog or mention your website online, um, linking your website. So, anyone reading that, can click a link and go to your website. Now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google takes us as a vote. So Google is a, truly is a popularity contest. Um, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chances you're gonna uh, win the presidency, right? So it's the same thing with Google. So this is, let me show you, explain these numbers to you. So referencing domains, this is saying that there's 11 websites right now uh, mentioning you 72 times somewhere on the internet okay um, and this is the most important part trust flow this is the quality of these domains okay so you have a trust flow of 10 so let me show you what that looks like so this is your quality meter all right so you're meeting almost medium quality all right so 15 is truly medium all right um, we will we want to get you above the 20 all right, so what's great about us, these influence pages, we actually have unlimited amounts of backlinks to link your website to that are very high quality, 20 and 25 plus. Okay, so they're off the charts. All right, so this is the most important thing that's going to get you ranked higher in the uh, organics. So if you're at number five, um, implementing our strategies is going to get you exactly where you need to be. All right, I want to show you real quick your number one competitor. We'll look at his backlinks. He's number one. So you remember you had 10 trust flow and 11 domains, right? So let's look at him real quick. All right, so he has 16. Okay, so he has just a few more um, than you. So that's why he's out beating you. All right, so this is very important. And this is what's... what is how we're going to dominate. Look, his trust flow is eight, so it's a little bit weaker, but he has a little bit more. So this is very important knowledge for you to understand. So it, it's not going to take much for us to dominate the space because this is considered low-hanging fruit. So we'll be able to get up there pretty quick. All right, so that's it for my analysis, Eric. I really hope this made sense for you and your company. Um, I would really love to work with you. 
you have all my information, um, please contact me uh, so that we can discuss further business. Um, you you can you have my information, my email and my phone number. Um, this is my site, but uh, yeah, just contact me and we'll we'll go from there. I appreciate the time you took to watch this, and you have a nice day.